What's up and welcome to another episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. I'm super excited because today I'm going to do a review on the Deeper Chirp Plus. At the end of the video I will let you know how to get a 15% discount on all Deeper products. Let's get to it. So the Deeper Chirp Plus. What is this little bollocky right here? This little ball is an extremely, extremely intelligent piece of technology. It is a castable fish finder. It is very similar to the Deeper Pro Plus, which I have done a couple of videos on in the past, and I've used for the last year and a half, two years, and I've been very satisfied with that. Apparently, this is even better. So let's talk about Chirp, and what does Chirp technology do? So Chirp Sonar stands for Compressed High Intensity Radiated Pulse Sound Navigation and Ranging. So the basic difference between traditional sonar and chirp sonar is that traditional sonar emits a short duration ping or sound wave in a single frequency. That sound wave bounces off of the bottom and the device, like a Deeper Pro Plus, listens to the echo, interprets it and displays its finding on a smartphone or a normal screen. The limitations of traditional sonar is that the different frequencies behave differently in water and it only emits a single frequency at a time. For example, low frequencies penetrate the water very well, but don't bounce back with much detail, while high frequencies give back so much more detail, but does not penetrate water very well. Now, chirp sonar emits a longer ping, as well as it modulates the frequency from the beginning of the ping to the end of the ping. What that means is, from one single ping, the chirp will emit a low frequency, and that frequency will get higher and higher and higher until the end of the ping where it emits a very high frequency. So what that allows is for the Deeper Chirp Plus to get all of the water penetration from the low frequencies while getting all of the wonderful detail given by the high frequencies. And it does all of that 15 times a second. Okay, so a couple of specifications of this castable fish finder. The quick specs of the Deeper Chirp Plus. The Chirp Plus is 6.5 centimeters in diameter, weighs 3.5 ounces, and is made of a durable copy green plastic with titanium inserts. It charges through micro USB from zero to 100% charged in 75 minutes and has a maximum battery life of six hours. The Chirp Plus turns on automatically when it comes in contact with water and now has three scanning angles. Low, a 47 degree angle, mid, a 16 degree angle and high a 7 degree angle for pinpoint accuracy and scans the water 15 times a second. Your Chirp Plus connects to your phone through Wi-Fi and has a maximum stable connection distance of 100 meters. Once cast out, the Chirp Plus has a maximum scan depth of 100 meters deep and a minimum scan depth of 15 centimeters shallow. It has a built-in temperature gauge and GPS, so it can be used in a regular onshore mode, onshore GPS mode, boat fishing mode, and ice fishing mode. The Chirp Plus also has fish and depth alarms. So let's get into the actual usage of this guy. Let's see if the hype is matched by the actual awesomeness of this thing. Let's see if we can live up to its reputation. Let's cast it in so while we're talking, it can just bring back some information. Gloops in the water. Okay, on the left hand side of the screen, you've got your little panel. You can view your basic or your detailed. Now I always leave it on detailed because I want as much information as I possibly can get. Then underneath that you've got fish icons, so it can tell you what fish are there. So it's picked up a little fish there at 5.1 feet. Um, the fish icons do also tell you how many meters, 5.1 meters, the fish are at. So underneath that, what do we have? We have got the beam angle. So beam angle, you've got your wide, which is which deeper is called low. Let's try not land this deep on a duck. Close. Um, it's got your low, so that's a 47 degree angle. So the low is when you're scanning it as vast area as you want to. Okay, then we've got our medium. Our medium, let's see what that looks like. There, medium. So you can see a direct comparison of that first little bit. See how the medium starts to break down the difference between the actual surface layer of the ground, of the bottom of the lake, and what's underneath it. So you can actually see how 
hard the surface is. And then, okay, let's do a direct comparison of the high. It's very good for exact location of structure and all those cool things. So currently I've got it on the onshore GPS mode. What's nice is it shows us exactly where the deeper is. Like I'm casting the deeper out, there it lands in the water. It's connecting, it's quickly connected. As you can see the orange satellite is flashing, it's connecting to the satellite and bang, there you go. It's connected to the satellite. Um, this is a criticism of the Pro Plus. The connection rate of that of the GPS is not good. It's not very good. I struggled a lot. That's why if I'm doing any kind of bathymetric mapping, if I can, I'll use my boat instead and then use the GPS on my phone. But the Chirp Plus looks like they've gotten onto that issue and they've really improved on it because so far the whole day I've connected really quickly. Okay, so let's zoom in on the left there and you can see exactly where the deeper is and what it's picking up. So. You can see that bathymetric map that it's starting to make is now color coding. So we can see that the closer to blue and um, green the lake is, that's the deeper it is. And then this, all, all this information gets saved onto my phone with the deeper app. So later when I'm sitting at home, I can say, I remember I saw a nice piece of, piece of structure, but where was it? And I can literally go back into my history, which is over there, and I can go into where I was and I can pick up and see this is an example of when I did it with the deeper pro plus I did a bathymetric map of the dam and then I can see exactly what I used okay let's quickly talk to you about this big hoo-ha about uh, target separation so we've got some weed at the bottom there and you can see the different layers of it so you know our plant grows and it's got little branches as it goes up like say use a plant and then it's got branches here and then branches here and branches here. You can actually see where those are. And um, I can see that there's a weed bed just here. So if I want to get my rig all snagged up in the weed, I can park it right in the middle of that. Or I can now know where it is and I can effectively fish that area by putting my rig slightly outside of it. Final thoughts on the Deeper Chirp Plus. Positives and negatives, let's start with the negatives. Um, first negative is I wish it came with the phone mount, which it doesn't. It doesn't come with a phone mount. And it is a fantastic product. Like I really trust the arm mount, like the phone mount. Like my phone never comes off. People always look at me and going, yes, you trust that thing because you're casting so close to the water. And I'm like, yeah, it's never come off. So it never has, so it's really great. But I wish it came with this because when you don't have any hands and you're trying to look at your phone with a chirp, it's not great. So that's just future thought, deeper, if you're listening, just put one in it, especially with the top of the range model, it would really help us. Um, then the other thing is the initial connection of the deeper, like the first time I ever connected it, it was really fast. But then after that, the first, like say the deep had been off for a while and then I'd connected it with, I put it in the water and connected. And for someone who's really impatient when they want to fish, like me, that is a bit long. Wasn't too bad, but that's, that was on a con. Um, then let's go to the pros, the good parts about it. Well, the pros are like this. The amount of information you get on your screen is freaking fantastic. The, the detail you see, you can actually see how hard the bottom is, is amazing. The fact that you can get target separation like from a thing that is this big. It's this big and you can see, you can almost kind of see what type of weed you're in. And once, you, once I get to know this thing really well, I'll be able to go, ah, oh, it's silkweed. Ah, oh, no, it's this kind of weed or, you know, Canadian weed or whatever. And that, I think, is amazing. Um, the depth, the depth of it didn't make, make huge difference because I've never fished water that's deeper than 80 meters. But the fact that it can now, it can now search water that is this deep, is great for me because I have fished for carp, for eight kilo, 10 kilo carp in water that is shallower than 0.7 of a meter, which was the shallow, the most shallow that the Pro Plus can do. But now this can scan that, so I can literally see in that much water. Like I couldn't see 
into the water because it was quite far away. But I could literally see now, I can literally see if there's a carp swimming underneath the deeper at that time. So that is fantastic. The GPS, the fact that it's been improved by so much is a massive thing for me. So that is a well done deeper, you guys rock. So that's also a positive. Um, the fact that these things are pretty robust, like I've, the material is very good. I've blocks and mined against quite a few rocks and trees I wasn't supposed to hit and it's absolutely fine and this is the same material. So that's great. And then the fast charging for impatient people who want it to be charged now and go fishing now. That's also great. If you're interested, you can use this code right now and you will get a 15% discount on your deeper products. So use this code on, on the screen right now. It's also in the description if you want to get 15% discount on this. So you can save more than 500 bucks if you buy a Deeper Chirp Plus. So yeah, do that. Thank you Deeper for that, um, that code. And then please remember to like, share and comment. Let's, let's start the conversation and please remember to subscribe because subscribing is very important because there's content like this on his Tip Top Fishing on an almost weekly basis. I will see you next time on his Tip Top Fishing. Till then, tight lines guys. Thank <laughs> you.